Hey everyone, welcome to Chet Chat. I'm your host Chetna. And today on the show is Ansh Nasta. Hey Ansh, welcome to the show. Hi. Ansh is a second year student at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, HKUST, and he's studying at a full scholarship pursuing mechanical engineering. There's been a lot of questions coming in from viewers about how is the experience of studying at Hong Kong. So let's get over to Ansh straight away. So Hong Kong University of Science and Technology is a very new university, so the buildings are pretty modern. One of the main reasons I chose it is because it has a very large campus compared to other Asian universities like HKU, NUS and NTU. And HKUST has a beautiful campus. It's on a mountain right next to the sea. Oh, so we enjoy wow. both. We enjoy the hilly aspect as well as the seaside aspect. We actually have a small beach on our campus itself which is uh, actually out of bounds for students but we use it anyways. <laughs> uh, this, the roads are really steep, so initially I thought I could maybe I would cycle around campus, but once I got there I was like, there is no way you can cycle around that place because you will break your head. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful, so you have soccer on the beach. So our football field is right next to the sea, okay. so sometimes the ball actually ends up going to the sea. Oh, and we okay. have to jump in the water and swim and get it. But when you're playing football, you can't see any the road next to it. You can just see the sea. So it's really beautiful, beautiful. playing there. And you have your residence rooms facing the sea as well? Yeah. So the residence rooms are all near the sea and half of them face the sea while the other half face the back. Okay. And how yeah. large is your batch size? There are around 800 people in the School of Engineering itself in my year. So including the School of Business as well as Science and Humanities. It should be around 2,000 students according to me. Okay. And one of the big advantages of studying in HKUST is the low cost and of course you're studying on a full scholarship. Yeah. So would you like to tell our viewers how easy it is to get a scholarship? Yeah, so HKUST offers loads of scholarships for national students. So it doesn't matter whether you're in IB, A-levels or CBSC or ISC, there are scholarships for everyone depending on how you score in class 11 and class 12. So they actually have a page on their website dedicated just for IB students. So anyone who gets above 35 on 45 IB gets a scholarship, but the amounts oh, differ. Okay. Okay. So if you apply early, a 42 gives you a full scholarship. And if you apply regular, a 45 gives you a full scholarship. Okay. So I, had, I didn't know about this difference and I had just applied early. So I got pretty lucky that I got a full scholarship. Okay, so these are better. They are international students, all locals, yeah. all Chinese, the all Ivy for everyone. school yeah. students yeah. get scholarships. Yeah. Fantastic. And anyway, the cost is much lower. Yeah, so anyways, the cost is around just 120,000 Hong Kong dollars a year, which is 10 lakh rupees a year which is what most people pay for the IB education year. Right. And for local students, it's 40,000 Hong Kong a year, which is just around three and a half lakh rupees a year, which is again much less than what people pay for their schools. Sure. So this is because the government funds everybody's education, both local and international students. So this makes the, the education in Hong Kong really affordable, and even the cost of living is very low. The accommodation is 15 to 20,000 Hong Kong dollars a year. Again, again, that's very low. So you're doing a major in mechanical engineering. Yep. And would you like to tell us a bit about the structure of that program? Okay. So mechanical engineering at HQST is one of the toughest programs due to the intense workload and also because the courses are offered just once a year. So you need to make sure you plan out your courses correctly so that you don't have to take an extra semester before you graduate. Another reason it's really difficult is because it has the most number of required credits. Oh, okay. So I have to take 15 credits per sem just to finish the normal requirements. So I'll have to take extra courses if I want to do a minor, which I'm planning to do. I'm planning to do a business minor. And I'm really passionate about sustainable energy. So the MEG department has this thing called option where you do three courses to specialize in the field of sustainable energy. Okay, so and you have reasonable flexibility within the program? Uh, yeah, so in USD they're very flexible with the courses because we have a university common core program 
So 36 credits out of the 120 you will do will be like part of Common Core, right. which covers things like math, comp sci, history, humanities, social analysis, science, technology. So everyone has a very broad education base, and this is one of the things I really liked about the UST is that the education system is pretty Americanized. So you can take courses in any field, any major you want, as long as you satisfy the prerequisites. Or some courses don't even have prerequisites. You can just take them for fun. For example, like last in my first year, I did a, a history course, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Then in summer, I did a course on bitcoins and other banking technology, and that was def that's definitely been the, my favorite course in UST because. It was taught by a guy who was teaching for the first time. He wasn't a professor. Okay. He was a JP Morgan guy. And he came, he saw a two-week course, and every all of us actually loved it. And because of that, they've actually made him an official professor now. And he <laughs> does the course throughout the semester with different topics every semester. So he didn't have any exams. It was very presentation-based, discussion-based. Entire grading was in that. And he has speakers, speakers coming from outside who are actually running Bitcoin companies right. or banking or peer-to-peer -peer lending companies. So every day was a different speaker and we got to interact with them in person. And, and very trendy, very current. Yeah, Bitcoins is, some people say the present, some people say the future, some people say they never take off, but we can just wait and watch and see what happens. So Anj, what about the other, outside of the classroom, the other activities that you're engaged in? Well, to be honest, I actually spend more time on all of class activities than, on, than being in class. So right now, I've been appointed and elected as the financial secretary of the art club. Then I'm also passionate about food, so I joined the International Cuisine Society and they selected me as to be the internal secretary. Wow. Then um, since the beginning, I've been working with the sustainability unit of USD. So we had the sustainable campus leadership program. And when I was part of that, we initiated sustainable campus projects. So I've been working on a solar panel project, which is almost, is, I've almost completed right now. So in the second year, I decided to become a mentor for students who are interested in such similar projects. Very, yeah. very rewarding. I'm also in, very heavily involved in sports on campus. So I train with the school track and field team. Okay. So last one year, I've been focused mostly, mostly on long distance running, like five kilometers and cross country running. And apart from that, I also play football for the mechanical engineering team. And I also play tennis sometimes. I try to learn a new sport whenever I can. So I learn squash, kickboxing. Oh, so it's wow. pretty good fun. I try to keep myself busy all the time. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine what you said. You also do mechanical yeah. engineering. Yeah, and <laughs> apart from this, uh, I also research under a professor. So in UST, we have this thing called the Undergraduate Research Orientation right. Program. Right. And this research aspect is one of the main reasons I chose HKUST because it's number one for research in Asia. Okay. So they have lots of good laboratories and a lot of funding in the government to research. Mm -hmm. So in the last six months, I've been researching under a professor on energy harvesting. You said the research laboratories yeah. are fabulous. As far as sports infrastructure? Well, uh, UST has really good sports infrastructure. So we have the football field and the track running around it right next to the sea. Then we also have a small football pitch, like an indoor football, a hardcore football pitch. We have two basketball courts, one indoor, one outdoor, eight tennis courts, a lot of table tennis courts, squash courts. We have an indoor gym, we have indoor and outdoor swimming pools. And we also have a multi-purpose hall, which they use for other activities like martial arts. So it, people are taking part in sports all the time. the student body is concerned, how international is it? Compared to other Asian universities, HQST is very international, but if you compare to the Western universities, you may not think so. So 80% of the students are quota reserved for locals, okay. means local Hong Kong students because it's government funded. And around 10% is for mainland Chinese and Taiwanese students. And the rest 10% are international. So international is mostly Indians, Koreans, Indonesians. But in recent years, we've had lots of Europeans and Americans that's coming because they want to learn about Asian culture and they want a different experience. Yeah. My best friend is from London, and I have one friend from Turkey, I have friends from Germany, France, Bulgaria, Russia, and like all around the world now, actually. But, and even Hong Kongers themselves, 80% can be diverse. Not everyone from Hong Kong is Chinese, because like when Hong Kong was British colony, you have people from all over the world there. So we have a lot of third culture kids there. So I have Nepalese, Filipinos, British kids all over, from all over the world who've just grown up in Hong Kong and that classified as 
Hong Kongers. Hong Kong locals. Yeah. yeah. Please click the subscribe button below. Like me at facebook.com slash chatchat101. Follow my Twitter handle, chatchat101, or at Instagram, chatchat101. Please leave your comments in the sections below. And if you'd like me to feature any particular college, please let me know. Thank you.